channel if it's your first time. My name is April. I am an author. I am an encourager. I am a book lover and a creator. And I'm so glad that you are here with me today. I just want to take a few moments and share some thoughts with you. So this video is kind of, I'm winging it, but I do have some things that I want to talk about. I don't want to keep it too lengthy. I want to make it a short video for you. There's just been some things on my mind that I wanted to talk about. So let's get to it. So it is hard to be a writer. It has been my lifelong dream and it has been something that consistently since childhood that I have worked on and worked toward. And a year ago when I was finally in the place where I just really decided I was going to take it that step further, that I was going to write, finish, and publish my novel, I kind of didn't realize how many different steps there were after writing that first draft. Like, it's an amazing thing to write that first draft and to write in and to print that out. Oh my gosh, that's a great feeling. And it's, it's an accomplishment. It's something that I have done with books in the past. But until this book, I never delved past that. I would move on to the next thing. Things would happen in my life. You know, I wasn't really pursuing publication. I was writing because I'm a writer, because that's what I do. And I can't really not write. So it took me a while to get to the place where I was comfortable and able and had the time and the place you know it's been a long journey but wow I was just really I'm really shocked that I was so considering that I've really studied like my whole life I've read writing books and studied the craft you know have thought I had a good grasp on the publishing process and everything like but it's different when you're walking through it and it's different when it's your own book and your own manuscript and it's not just you reading about the process wow my first draft was a mess y'all and that's okay I mean and I knew it would be a mess but I guess there was a part of me that thought it was a little bit better than it actually was. So when I started into editing, and if you guys remember, that wasn't long ago, and I was completely clueless. I had no idea how to do that self-editing, second drafting process, and I really searched for things. I found a few things that were helpful, but it still didn't really tell me, you know, how to go about this process of taking this manuscript from being a first draft mess to getting it closer to something that I would want to put out there for other people to read. I really think the thing that helped me the most was having some good critique partners. I really, I'm gonna give a shout out to those and tag them below because they have been tremendously helpful to me. You know, I started sending them out some chapters as I kind of had the second draft rewritten. You know, I was kind of rewriting into the second and improving it a little bit. And the feedback that they were giving me was really helpful and you know some of the suggestions that were made change the course of my book because just having someone else look at what you've written and go hey this is really cool but what if this happened you know this part's confusing there's something about that that gives you a distance from your work that can make it better so that's kind of my advice to you if you've written your first draft and you're not sure what to do you know, you may want to go ahead and get a couple of critique partners to trade work with. Editing other people's work is, or critiquing other people's work will also help you to become a better writer. You know, you get a feel for different people's styles. You kind of start to get in the habit of seeing patterns and tendons and things like that. So definitely, definitely do that. And then that said, if you get to a point where you realize you got to write a lot of stuff before you need to send it out, like, because basically the whole middle section, the setting of my novel changed due to some feedback that I incorporated and some ideas of my own. So I had to rewrite basically the entire novel. I mean, maybe, I'm going to say maybe five chapters stayed similar and everything else was a total rewrite. So if you're doing your first draft and you think that you are close to having a, a product that is ready for publication, that may not be the case. <laughs> you may have a lot more work to do. And in most cases you do because your first draft heard this said, I read this, but until I went through it, it really didn't click. It didn't make sense to me. And that is that 
you are writing the first draft, you are telling the story to yourself. That's really important. So don't put a ton of pressure on yourself when you are writing your first draft. Write that story for yourself. Tell yourself the story. That's okay. You're going to write some terrible things. There's going to be plot holes. There's going to be a mess. You know, just write it. Get it out there because until you do that, you can't polish it. You can't turn your story. You can't make it better until you get it past that initial stage. Now, whether you are a plotter or a pantser, as we have termed, you know, whether you do a really dedicated outline, you know, it's really possible that if you are a great outliner, that you may be able to avoid some of the things that I did. I did outline this story, but I think as you write, sometimes you vary from that outline, which is good in some cases. You really need to be thinking of your outline as a living, breathing, creature that evolves into something else. So you write your outline and it's not set in stone. Don't think it's set in stone. You can change it. One tip that will help you that I will definitely incorporate from now on is as you're writing your story or as you're writing different drafts for your story, as you're editing, as you're rewriting, as you're revising, if you make big plot changes or even little things, that deviate from your outline, you really need to take some time to go back and put your outline in order. And this will save you from basically having to read your book from start to finish and write down what happened and then create a new outline of where you actually want your book to go with the changes that you're gonna make. Of course, if you're a pantser, you don't wanna do an outline. I do recommend having a rough idea of where your story is going. But you know, hey, who says that you have to do, if you can pants it out and write your first draft without it, you may have more editing work to do and changes to make. But if, you know, if that's the way that you work, embrace that. And I really think that's something else that I wanna point out. There are so many great ideas out there. And I definitely think that you should listen to other writers, that you should incorporate advice. You should know some of the writing rules and then also know when it's okay to break those rules know how to take advice from other writers and make it your own, how to stop. If some piece of advice that you've gotten that you think is super important and this is the way you're gonna write your great novel is you have to do this and it is not working for you, I suggest you try something else because everyone's different, everyone's journey, everyone's process, your genre. I mean, so many things go into writing a book or writing a first draft, writing a second draft that you really can't follow all the advice out there because what you're gonna find is that a lot of it conflicts. That is not because the, some advice is wrong and some advice is good, although I'm sure there is some wrong advice out there. Hey, you've got to find what you works. In order to do that, you have to write. You have to write and you have to make mistakes and you have to learn from them. And that is what is going to make you a better writer. That is what is gonna make your story a better story. It is hard sometimes, it is painful sometimes. There are moments that you really hate your book, you hate your writing, you hate everything about it, you have no idea why you're doing this. And then there's other times when you're on cloud nine and you're like, oh, this is awesome. I'm awesome. My book is awesome. Everything's awesome. And yeah, the truth is those are just emotional ups and downs. And just because you have an emotion doesn't make it true. Just because you think you hate your book and you think your book is terrible, that doesn't make it true. And on the other hand, just because you think your book is wonderful and your writing is wonderful, that doesn't make it true. Most of the time, it's really something that falls in between. You have some, some positives and you have some negatives. So you have to learn what your positives are in your writing, work with those, you know, embrace those. And you have to find out where your negatives are. You have to find out your flaws. You have to find out, you know, what it is that's holding you back in your writing, you know, make those changes. That's just, this is, not really specific, it's just some things that I have had on my mind and I wanted to share them because the process of writing can be scary. It can be hard to find your direction. And I just wanted to encourage you that no matter where you're at, just keep writing. Don't give up. If you have to change your path a little bit, that's okay. If you have to stop working on whatever you're working on, do something else for a little bit, focus on another project, do that. 
if you hate your book at the moment, just keep working. I promise there will be a point where that emotion becomes something else. But you have to stick with it. Take a break if you need to. Don't overwork yourself. Set realistic goals. Don't judge yourself and your work, especially your unfinished first draft to a published novel. You know, nobody writes their book and it comes out perfect. There's a lot of work that goes into there in between that. Yep. So I, that's it. That is all I have for you today. Just my thoughts on writing, a little bit of writing, a little bit of advice, a little bit of encouragement, and just a taste of my journey as a writer. As always, I am so happy that you joined me today. If you have any comments, if you have any thoughts, if you have any writing struggles that you want me to talk about or do a video on, then please go ahead, leave those in the comments below. I would absolutely love it if you would help me get my channel out to more people by giving me a subscribe, giving me a thumbs up, sharing with others. That means so much to me and I just want to be able to reach more people, encourage more people, just make, make people's day brighter, I guess, sharing my writing journey. So that's it. I will see you next time. I hope you have a blessed and bookish week.